Yesterday's appalling incident makes the case plainly for immediate action. We cannot have the situation, as we saw tragically in yesterday's case, where an offender, a known risk to innocent members of the public, is released early by automatic process of law, without any oversight by the parole board. We will be doing everything we can to protect the public. That is our primary duty. And we will therefore introduce emergency legislation to ensure an end to terrorist, terrorist offenders getting released automatically, having served half of their sentence with no check or review. The underlying principle has to be that offenders will no longer be released early automatically and that any release before the end of their sentence will be dependent upon risk assessment by the parole board. We face an unprecedented situation of severe gravity and as such it demands that the government responds immediately and that this legislation will therefore also apply to serving prisoners. Now, the earliest point at which these offenders will now be considered for release will be once they have served two-thirds of their sentence, and, crucially, we will introduce a requirement that no terrorist offender will be released before the end of their full custodial term unless the Parole Board agrees. The first responsibility of a government is to keep its citizens safe. Tragically, the cuts that we have seen over the previous decade across our justice system to the police and to prisons, to probation and to the CPS, have left our communities less safe, which is why our justice system uh, is in a state of crisis. It will, of course, take time for the full facts around yesterday's terrible attack to come out, and we owe it to those affected to carefully assess what happened and take the action necessary to reduce the risk of similar attacks happening again. Experts, Madam Deputy Speaker, have raised serious concerns about the impact of austerity on the Government's programmes for dealing with terrorism offenders. 